welcome back. As you can see, it's time for another edition of Cruising with Charity. Today, I have the Westminster head football coach joining me today, Louis Block. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Charity. So, I actually learned something interesting about you. Oh, no. <laughs> you actually worked a little bit under Mike Shula and Nick Saban? I did. Tell me a little bit about that. That's so cool. One summer, I just got married, actually, in June of 2005. And in July 2005, I get a call. To, to go be a grad assistant at um, Alabama, and I did that for two years under Shula. It was an unbelievable experience, and then we went through the coaching change. Right. And um, that was tough because we didn't know what was going to happen to us as grad assistants. So here we are trying to figure out what we're going to do. We're going to get fired, and then Coach Saban came in, and, and um, he kept two of us, and it was me and my buddy Gabe, wow. and um, it was really a uh, crazy experience. Yeah. But uh, thankful I got to go through it and had a great time that year under him and uh, really wanted to stay longer. But my wife was like, it's time to go get a real job because <laughs> it didn't pay that much. But, but anyway, it was fun. It was an awesome time. Well, I got to ask you about some game day rituals. I feel like a lot of times coaches and even players, they have some rituals they do. Do you have anything you do on game day? Um, I'm, you know, I'm not superstitious. Um, I will say that I probably, you know, wear the same shirt under my coaching uh, cage jacket you know every week and um, this year I changed up the hat that I wore from last year uh -huh. and um, after we lost two games in a row I, I went back and got the the hat from last year and we haven't we haven't lost <laughs> since so I guess that is a superstition there but my coach one of my coaches coach Riley got mad at me he says why did you change the hat coach we were 11 and one last year put the 11 and one hat back on so <laughs> right. so that's what I did what's your assessment on the team about halfway through what's your assessment of your team this year and um, Coach Hooks used to always say, if the season is flying by, that means you've got a good group. And I cannot believe it's week seven. And this group has been a great group to coach. And uh, I love this group because uh, they're coming off of being a part of a great year. Last year, you know, they're trying to figure out who they are. And we lost so many kids from that team last year that there was a lot of unknowns. And I feel like we, you know, we had a great first game, scored a lot of points. And I feel like that was almost a false sense of confidence. It was, um, it was really kind of neat looking back now, sitting at four and two, to see them have a really amazing high the first game, really low second and third week, and to see them respond. And again, to me, this is what high school football and athletics is all about, is guys that are presented with a, an issue. And then what are we going to do about it? What are we going to do about adversity? What are we going to do about uncertainty? And uh, so they've got the maturity. They have the maturity to um, to step up and overcome that. And I've been so proud of them. Yeah, and, thank you for, for joining me today. Of course. Well, guys, that does it for another edition of Cruising with Charity. Sitting back to you guys in the studio.